from the studios of Farm Journal Broadcast. This is U.S. Farm Report. Welcome to U.S. Farm Report. This weekend, we are on the road from the 2022 Commodity Classic right here in New Orleans. I'm Tyne Morgan, and here's what's in store over the next 60 minutes. Russia places a ban on exports as another black swan potentially hits the fertilizer market. They are almost 20% of the global operating capacity of the entire world. Why even this doesn't create worst case scenario for fertilizer availability and prices. As the U.S. places a ban on Russian oil, why commodity groups say ethanol is a ready-made solution to fill the gap today. And in John's world... Things you may not have known about Ukraine. Now for the news, Ukraine announcing this week that it is banning the export of several key ag commodities. It says it's doing so in order to prevent a humanitarian crisis in the country. For now, it will not allow the exports of rye, barley, buckwheat, millet, sugar, salt, and meat. It also imposed export licenses, but not an outright ban on wheat, corn, and sunflower oil. As we've been reporting, Ukraine, along with Russia, supply almost 30% of the world's wheat exports. And Russia announcing a ban of exports, too. Josh Lenville of Stone X Group says this could be another black swan for fertilizer. So I focus on the Russia piece because they are a major, major exporter across all of the major fertilizers. And just going through them, urea, they account for 14% of the global export total. UAN has been anywhere from 25 to 31% the last couple years. Phosphate, 10%. Uh, potash, they are, they are almost 20% of the global operating capacity of the entire world. They're a big deal. Losing Russia exports is a very big deal. I don't care where you are in the earth, it matters to you.